Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a what's in my bag video but we will be having two bags to review and also to try out at the same time. I also want to thank Gaston Luga for sending over their bags. Oh, do you guys know I have been manifesting this brand for quite some time now. It has been a few years since I've talked about it and my partner and I absolutely love this brand and they finally so as you guys know, I'm a design student and I carry a lot of stuff around with me and I love bags. So for the next semester, I do not have any design related classes. But again, I want to thank Gaston Luga for sending over their products for me to film this video. Let's unbox the first product that Gaston Luga sent over to me. Again, thank you. Thank you so much because I really love your brand. I have been manifesting for many years and finally, we got it. I think having two bags for university is a great choice one you can switch whenever you want one for a larger capacity and one for a smaller capacity on days where you feel like uh, you're in a rush and you just want to throw everything in and grab and go you need a tote bag and on days where you're just struggling with finals you need to carry everything your hard disk your laptops um, a laptop stand perhaps a portable laptop stand around and your chargers and more things you need a backpack right so I have opened the box earlier because I was very really excited but this is Gaston Luga's Heritage Shopper Bag. You guys can see this is a massive tote bag. It's also a good thing that they included the straps over here so you can just carry them on and it's so cute. On the tag here, it says you can fit up to a 14 inch laptop, which is a very standard size for laptops. So if you can fit a 14 inch laptop, that means you can fit other laptop sizes which are smaller than the 14 inch, the 13, 12, or the 11 inch laptop. So if you have that, This is the Splash Backpack. It's giving expensive girl, productive, and also smart. But let's talk about the brand for a minute. So Gaston Luga is actually a brand based in Sweden and they focus on making the Scandinavian minimalist design for their bags. They also have a variety of colors to choose from their website. I also want to mention that they are a brand that aims towards sustainability and they are only using eco-friendly materials to craft their products and I think they have done it beautifully and just amazing. So let's start with the Splash Backpack. It is made from recycled polyester and waterproof material. And the first thing I have in my backpack is my laptop. This bag can fit up to a 16 inch laptop, but mine is 15. And let's not forget my laptop charger because I'm someone who uses my laptop while charging. I also keep this Kuromi pouch with me that I borrowed from my sister. I keep a sanitary pad inside and flu meds inside because I have mentioned this before, I'm someone who has sinus problems. You guys know that I frequently vlog about my daily life as a college student. I carry my camera in this mini camera bag and the camera I'm using is the Sony ZV-1. I also have a battery charger with me because I like to use it to store an extra battery. It's like a small little storage box. As I mentioned, there's no design related courses for my upcoming semester so I carry a Muji notebook with me and some paper and it feels like I'm going back to high school. So Anatomy invited me to their Sesame Street collab private viewing a few months ago and they gifted me this beautiful customized journal. I finally started using it to story about my ideas or journal my thoughts and definitely bringing this on the go for whenever ideas spark up. I also bring a tripod with me, it makes vlogging less of a hassle. This is a tripod from Ulanzi and I got it off from Shopee. It holds very well, super durable, you can attach a separate lighting attachment if you want to enhance your video quality as well. Inside my backpack, I also keep a pouch for my pens and I have been using this since my high school days. There's a zipper on the back support side and I keep my makeup and accessories inside. 
My previous was in my bag was only a month ago and I'm not someone who switches my makeup products often. I am very loyal to the same products which explains why my daily essentials are always the same. When it comes to spending on makeup products, I tend to save my money on them because I personally do think that makeup products are super expensive. But anyways, I want to share this sun stick that I got. I love it so much. As you can see, I have used about half of it and this one is from Abi. It's very nice. I got it from a PR package and ended up loving it. I always have a comb with me no matter which bag I'm bringing out and I recently dyed my hair and the vibrant lip colors do not look well with the hair so I limited myself to only using a tinted lip balm. I also have a sample Chloe perfume my mom gave me as an emergency perfume because I love smelling good and I don't want to leave the house forgetting to put on my perfume. And like I said, I can't put on too much of a vibrant color so a tinted lip balm works well on me and this is the Nivea lip balm and here is a lipstick color that kind of matches with the hair but not exactly as good as the lip balm. On the front of the bag, there's two zip pockets and I keep these flower clips that I got from a friend who makes them. These flower clips are just so fun to use. I love to accessorize them. And the same friend gifted me this compact powder as a souvenir and I can't wait to use it. What the dog doing? On the other side, I keep my wired earphones. I'm a wired earphones girl. I tried to love the wireless ones, but I failed successfully. I'm not exactly the type of person who remembers to bring a sanitizer out at all times, but we have to for hygiene purposes. So I got this one at a zero waste store so I could go back for refills, but unfortunately the store has closed down. I don't have anything to store inside this pocket because I'm not the biggest fan of storing my items in here. And that's all the things that I store inside this backpack and I forgot my wallet but it sure can fit my wallet. Let's try to put all the items in the tote bag. So here are also the same things that I want to pack inside the tote bag just for the days when I feel like changing a bag but this time we are ditching the laptop because my laptop would not fit in that tote bag but instead let's bring my iPad. So here's my iPad with my Apple Pencil as well. So yeah, let's substitute my laptop with the iPad and pack my bag. If you gave me a choice to bring a backpack or a tote, I would say a tote bag. It's just so accessible and easy to pair with outfits without looking like, hey, I'm going to class or hey, I'm going to school. And the thing about tote bags is how sore or tired your arms can be after carrying it around for the whole day. So I'm kind of glad that this tote bag has shoulder straps. It actually came to my surprise when I noticed that it still looks good while carrying it like a backpack with the straps. I thought it would look bulky or just not flattering with my fit, but I actually like it. I just look like a student with like a cute backpack like hey, that's my backpack, <laughs> you know? Everything from the backpack except my laptop fits in this tote bag and I still have extra space. I'll show you guys how it looks like when you put it on in a few more seconds. Anyways, that's all for my what's in my backpack slash tote bag and I hope you guys enjoy it and thank you to Gaston Luga again because you guys have sent me two amazing products for me to review and also do use my code CONSTANCE15 to get a 15% discount off on Gaston Luga's website. Thank you for watching, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!